You've heard of Happy Wheels, right? Uh, duh, every fucking person in a first world country has heard of it. Have you, have you heard of it? It's kind of like starting out a story with saying, Hey, have you heard of water? Yeah, no shit, we've heard of water. The, the, it's the latest internet phenomena. Most people at my school hadn't heard of it until I introduced it to my friend. One thing led to another, and, well, after a week or so, it seemed like everyone was playing it. The main thing that draws people to it in many ways, in which your character can be brutally dissected. For example, you can be decapitated, ripped in half, torn apart by buzzsaws, impaled by spikes, and the like. Forgive me for being on topic. Dude, you're staying on fucking top. You, you, were, you were describing the game. You're staying on topic. This is a creepypasta about a game. Describing it is clearly fucking off topic. No, you don't do that. You, you're not off topic, man. Calm down. You were, you were adding to what all of us already know what's true. But I mean, I mean, it's, you should do that anyway. It's you were making sense. You don't need to throw that bullshit. I'm off topic. <laughs> I'm a little more cautious these days. W why? W what happened? That's what I want to know. Anyways, this is how it happened. It was a late night, and I just finished my daily fat fest. <laughs> oh my god. Fat fest. Is, that's what it says. Fat fest. I respect you. This is beautiful. I was home alone that night, so I knew no matter how loud I was, nobody would hear me wank it. Oh! Okay, this is clearly something not to be taken seriously. This guy could not have put, hey, I jack it and fucking... It'd be a serious story. So this is obviously a troll pasta, but I'm gonna keep reading it anyway because it's just f fucking hilarious. As I began to tire of pornographic videos, I realized something. I needed to see a man on a Segway get decapitated. That's a weird urge. Is that like a is that a fetish? Is that a is that a freaking is that a freaking fetish? I soon found myself typing in the URL needed to access Happy Wheels, and off I went into another brutal adventure. The site loaded up just fine and it all seemed well and good. Until I saw it. Okay, I think every single- I've only done three, this is gonna be my third one, but every single goddamn story is like, until I saw it. Oh, bet you five bucks he's gonna describe it to a T later. But I- Oh, it's just, it pisses me off. You don't need to say it and then describe it later. Didn't I say that with the fucking Atlas Jack thing? Oh, uh, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going. While usually showing a poorly animated old man shaking his fist, this time had something barely different about it. I can't put my finger on it, but something made me feel uneasy. You're basically like, what, what the, what the... A subtle difference, what the- you- you can't point it out, something just seems off, you don't have that kind of instincts before you play a game. Like, you, I get it if you're like, around like a wooded area or something, and you know, you- you sense something's off if you go there every day, but, like, a, a, a screen to a video game, you shouldn't get tense over differences. So, what the fuck do I know? But I pushed down those feelings. Okay, and that's what the dude in Sonic.exe did. That that terabad story. That's that's what he did. You know, except he did it worse. You know, he's like, you know, there's blood everywhere. Keep going. At least you're just like, you know, it's a little. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, even, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But I pushed those feelings down deeper than the one time I ate that Mexican prostitute and pressed onward into the game. Having been a seasoned player, I dove straight into the user-generated levels. They were unlike nothing I've ever seen in an online community before. 
backgrounds were brilliantly colored and textured shown to the last detail. It was a design paradise, nay, a wet dream. I went to a level titled Kill JB and Faggot Fan. It's happy it was 4 a.m. We got nothing else to it. It's believable. Knowing it wouldn't be anything special, just reading the title, but when I went in, I saw something I never thought I'd see outside of a shock site. All along the walls were pictures of corpses, children, women, men, dogs and cats. Anything and everything was there. Anything and every- Okay, let me- oh. See, now this whole like, I saw these corpses on the walls and blah blah blah, you could pull this off. This is just fucking stupid how you did it. How you just said you saw dogs and cats and men and women and shit like- Okay, so he got all these corpses on the wall. And considering it's a game revolving around gore, uh, n n you shouldn't freak out. I'm just saying. The worst part was their eyes. I swear to God, if he says hyper realistic. Hyper real. Oh, God damn it. I just. Uh. <sighs> Do I even need to explain the whole hyper realistic thing? Like, every Terabad story, you get it? Okay, let's. Then the phone rang. It was my friend Blair, and he sounded scared out of his wits. Magically, your friend Blair was doing- What well, was your friend Blair, like, at another house, just whacking it off, and then, like, I gotta play Happy Wheels too? Is that- is that, is, is that what's going on? This is- didn't give him a backstory. What's he doing? I asked what was wrong, but he just told me to calm him down. So, being the friend that I am, I told him everything that just happened. You fucking dick. You just like, oh man, I'm panicking. The world's a terrible place. Oh, guess what? I guess what, man? Guess what? I just, I'm playing Happy Wheels. I think it's hot or something. There's shit. Call the guts everywhere. Call the, call the police. He didn't even speak. After about 10 minutes of silence, he hung up. I got bored and thought, fuck Happy Wheels. And I went to the computer and turned it off. I didn't realize I left MSN online. What I discovered. Sh what I discovered sent chills down my spine and made my blood turn cold. Blair was on MSN. But if Blair was online the whole time, who was phone? <laughs> that was the last line of the whole damn thing. Who was phone? What the hell? I don't know who was phone. Was this guy phone? Was this guy phone? Was this guy was that guy phone? I'm pretty sure I was phone. I was I was the phone. I think you're asking who was on the phone. Um So are you saying if your friend is on MSN if you think about literally on MSN, um who was on phone? Guy Kill.